Hi everyone and welcome to the email marketing model. In this model we are going to learn everything about how to create our email campaigns in Egoi. The first step to do it right will be setting up your Egoi account with your domain. First of all, we want to send emails in a professional way. So we will be using a professional email address and not our personal email address. The second point is that by doing these configurations, you are telling out loud to the whole world that you gave permissions to a guy to send out your emails. It's something similar as a product buy online. Someone will pick up a box, then we'll identify with everything that it's needed, like the logo, the name of the company, the label with the barcodes, so that when the postman pick up that box, he will know that he can deliver it in a safely way. You only need to do these configurations once, and we are going to see now how to do it in Igoi. Let's head the senders page and for that we are going to click this top right menu and then click senders. In this page we can manage our senders and when you create your Egoi account you will see the domain of your email just here. If you want to add a new one just click here, add, type the sender name and the email Okay, this will be a test. And here I have three situations. I have a domain which is authenticated, other that I have not authenticated, and the last one which is unconfirmed. This one needs to be confirmed and for that you should go to your email inbox and then confirm the email that you have just received from Egoi. I have confirmed this one here, so I will authenticate this one here. I'm going to click over its bar and I should do three configurations, the SPF, the DKIM and the CNAME. To set up the SPF and the DKIM I should click authenticate and to set up the CNAME I should click add CNAME. Let's start for the first one, so I will click here, authenticate, and I can select one of these three options. I can say that set it up for me, and for this option, Egoi will do it for me. I can send the steps to a friend or a work colleague so that they can do it for me, in case that they know how to do it, or I can do it myself. I'm going to choose this option and then I should select my hosting service. In this case, I'm going to select GoDaddy and click Next. Here I have all the information that I need for the SPF and this is this area here. And for the DKIM, I have all my details just below. And what do I need to do with all of this information? I just have to go to the DNS zone editor of my hosting services and add those records there. Let's have a look in some providers. For example, in this one, the DNS zone is available from here. This one will be from here, advanced zone editor. And this last one has the DNS zone editor looking like this. I'm going to go to the GoDaddy hosting service, so I will click in DNS. And for the SPF, I'm going to make a search using the command or control F and type SPF to make sure that I don't have any SPF record. For the SPF, I only can have one. I don't have any. So I'm going to add a new one and select the type TXT. In this first field, I'm going to copy this value and paste it. And for this TXT value, I'm going to copy this second one 
and paste it here. Save. For the DKIM, I'm going to add a new record and it will be a TXT type as well. The first value will be this one here. Paste. And the TXT value will be this one here. Okay. Save. Now I'm going back to Egoi. Click Next. And as I can see, I have all this information highlighted in green. So it's all good and it's everything okay. This kind of information can take up to 48 hours to be confirmed. And in case that you don't have everything okay, you just have to wait a little bit more and pay attention to the colors that will indicate if it's okay or not. If you see the highlight in red, you should wait. And if you see it in green, you are okay and ready to go. Let's confirm. And let's add the C name for our domain. Then we should select the C name record that we want and generate configuration. Then in this case, I'm going to do it myself and it will be in GoDaddy, but you should select your hosting. Okay, and for this case, I will need this information here and this one here. I'm going to return to GoDaddy and for this case, I'm going to add a new C name type record. I'm going to copy and paste the information that I need. Save. And now I'm going to check my configuration in Egoi. And as you can see, it's already confirmed because I have this information highlighted in green. And that's it. Now you have all the information that you need to set up your Egoi account with your domain. And don't forget to have a look on the extra resources for this class.